Thank you all for making the time to join us on today's webinar. My name is Natalie Taylor and I'm a content marketing writer here at Feedvisor. I'm joined by Anthony Butron, co-founder of Pixelfy and founder of Seller Tradecraft. And before we get started, I want to remind everyone that we will be sending out a link to today's recording and there will be time for a Q&A at the end of the presentation. So if you have questions throughout, please enter them into the space provided and we'll do our best to get to all of them. I'm going to kick things off today with a quick poll. Do you currently have a strategy in place to retarget your audiences off Amazon? You should see the poll on your screen now. And as you submit your answers, I want you to also consider this. When it comes to driving conversions, who would you rather have your ad reach? A shopper who viewed your product but didn't end up buying or someone who's never engaged with your brand before? Okay, so happy to see that 15% of you do have a remarketing strategy in place and as I expected, the majority of you um, do not, and I guess that is why you're here today, <laughs> which leads me to my next point. Consumers who see retargeted ads are 70% more likely to convert. With retargeting, you can deliver specific messaging to relevant, relevant to a consumer's recent actions, whether it's shopping cart abandonment, previous purchase, or even just a simple page visit. If you're not tracking and remarketing your target audience off Amazon, you could leave, be leaving money on the table. So today, Anthony will be breaking down the importance of an Amazon remarketing strategy and how you can track your ad campaigns and reach visitors again with targeted ads on social media to drive discoverability and conversions. So on that note, Anthony, I will let you take it from here. All right, uh, Natalie, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you, Natalie, um, and thank you, Feedvisor, for having me on today. Um, so I'm just gonna go over a quick introduction about myself, kind of let you guys know what my background is and how I get started, and then how it kind of translates into the topic that we're gonna talk about here today. Uh, but yeah, my name is Anthony Bui Tran. I'm 27 years old. I was born in uh, San Jose, California, but I grew up in Houston, Texas. I say y'all, um, but luckily enough, while I was working my uh, first full-time job out of college, I was able to start a million dollar business on Amazon, right? Uh, and I was doing this part-time while working a full-time job in um, consulting, uh, in tech consulting. Um, today, I'm also the co-founder of Pixify, which is a software that helps you rank your product on page one. And I'm also a founder of the community called Solo Tradecraft, where we just kind of talk shop about Amazon um, and e-commerce stuff related, but mainly focused on Amazon because that's really my bread and butter. Um, and then next slide. Okay. And here's a picture of me and my partners on the top left. Um, this is Nick, Fernando, Leo, and Johan. Uh, together, we created Pixify. We work on Solo Tradecraft. Since then, we've spoken at numerous events uh, similar to this feedback uh, webinar and then also in-person events too, such as the Million Dollar Summit in Cancun where we had over $50 million sellers. Um, it was a really cool conference. I'll talk about this a little bit more at the end, um, but for those of you guys that are doing seven figures or more, this is one of my personal favorite like masterminds or organizations that I, I am a part of. Um, and I just find them to have like really high level content like the stuff that we're gonna talk about here today. Um, but you know, before the million dollar business, it didn't start off that way, right? So the first year I was dabbling with um, Amazon, I actually was an eBay seller at first. Um, and I was selling stuff on eBay when I was in college. I was making more money doing that than working a part-time job in college. So I just sold on eBay. But I realized like maybe some of, like some of you guys was, I never really bought a lot of stuff on eBay. I had, you know, the student prime account on Amazon and I was always buying stuff on Amazon. 
And then I realized that people could sell their stuff on Amazon. And that's when I started doing retail arbitrage, which was basically, you know, buying stuff from like Walmart, Target, and then flipping it on Amazon. And, you know, I was happy to make, you know, $8,000 in basically a three month span um, in college, right? And so I use that money to go travel a little bit. And uh, I really enjoy that. But in 2015, I graduated. And my goal when I graduated, I think I was maybe 22-ish when I graduated. It took me four and a half years to graduate. But I was like, I want a six-figure income by the time I'm 30 years old. So that gave me a timeline of about seven to eight years-ish. Um, um, and, you know, I started my consulting job at Protivity. Uh, these are some of my coworkers. Um, but then mid-2016 came around, and I realized that, you know, the corporate life wasn't my favorite thing. Um, while I was learning a lot, I was enjoying uh, working with the, my coworkers a lot. Um, my family comes are a lot of entrepreneurs and I really wanted to go down that path, but I wasn't really sure how. Um, and then in 2016, um, you know, I was like, okay, I got to keep working on my uh, Amazon business while working on uh, the, my corporate job. Right. And, you know, for the first couple of months, like this uh, in March, April, and May, I wasn't really selling anything. So my account was actually in the negative because of fees. Uh, but <clears throat> I kept doing retail arbitrage and I kind of dabbled in it a little bit uh, more. And then I was able to flip about $35,000 worth of stuff. Um, my biggest month was December. Um, I got really lucky with this product, a brand called Yeti. Uh, they had just came out with their tumbler cups and I was able to flip, you know, cups for, uh, I think they retail for 25, but I was able to sell it for $50 on Amazon. Right. But I went to my first conference, uh, in the Amazon community and I was like, ugh, I realized like all the people who are living the lifestyle that I want, uh, basically had private label products. Right. So I decided to launch my first private label product. And because of that, I was able to net 276,000 uh, that year. Um, and it just kind of really blew my mind. And what I mean by that is like, I was telling you guys a little bit earlier that by the time I was 30, I wanted to have a six figure income. I did it within one and a half years of graduating college, right? Um, and in my mind, it just kind of like, I don't know, for me, it just kind of broke a lot of barriers of like mental barriers of like what success was supposed to be, how long it could take to get there. And I realized, you know, the sky is the limit. Um, and then ever since then, I really been investing in myself and investing into like meeting other people within the Amazon community. And that's why here we're here working with Feedvisor to kind of like share some information with you guys. But we've been on other numerous podcasts such as Viral Launch, um, you know, the MDS guys. AMZ Seller Summit and numerous other ones. Um, but, you know, with all that being said, um, I'll kind of summarize this at the end a little bit about some of these resources that I really want to recommend to you guys that were instrumental to me in the success to where I got today. Um, but today we're going to be talking about Amazon remarketing. And my goal really is to help you understand the concepts of how to build assets while ranking your products on page one of Amazon search results, right? Um, and basically, um, if you guys don't know what, you know, uh, retargeting is or Facebook pixels are, um, I need you guys to understand that Facebook ads are one of the most powerful ways to target and acquire similar customers that are already shopping, you know, on Amazon for you. Um, you know, like reading these stats, like it just basically says that there's a lot of people <laughs> that use Facebook and a lot of people say social media influences their decisions, right? Um, and with Facebook pixels, uh, pixels are just like this thing that it's basically why Facebook is a like billion dollar corporation, okay? So Facebook pixels are placed on every single website that you visit um, on the internet. Uh, if they don't have it on their website, they're probably not trying to make money, right? But I can guarantee you that 99% of like all of the top 10,000 websites probably have a Facebook pixel on it too, right? So this is why you guys should really take advantage of what Facebook pixels are, okay? And to kind of explain what Facebook pixels are is 
every time a person visits a website or visits uh, something where the Facebook pixel is, the Facebook pixel will fire off and Facebook will collect that data, um, allowing uh, you to retarget, uh, remarket ads, just to do whatever you really want because once they, the pixel fires off, you have that data collected. Okay. But when I talk about the data, right, uh, what assets are we like really trying to collect? Um, and the assets that we're going to collect uh, with the Facebook pixels are names, addresses, emails, phone number, and traffic. So traffic goes through the Facebook pixel and Facebook will kind of identify like who is getting hit by the pixel. But if you can acquire things such as names, addresses, emails, and phone numbers, you're going to feed the Facebook pixel and make it a lot stronger, right? And the stronger and the more data you give this Facebook pixel, right? The more uh, better it does at building like these things called lookalike audiences and building uh, these things that help you convert a lot better in the long run, right? But um, the stuff I'm going over right now are some concepts. I'll actually show you guys some live examples of what I'm talking about, about how to collect these. Um, and we're going to throw in some free templates for you guys that you guys can easily plug and play with um, and get a feel for it yourself, right? So how do we collect these assets, right? Um, and, you know, why do we want to collect these assets and what are the tools that we want to use to um, collect these assets? So like earlier, I was saying the name, addresses, emails, phone numbers, and traffic. Another thing that I uh, want to talk about is many chat subscribers, Okay. So many chat subscribers is going to be one of the core ways of getting people into our funnel that we're going to talk about today and how we're going to remarket to them. Okay. So in terms of assets and tools for remarketing, um, these are basically the three that we're going to use today. And the three that I think that most marketers that sell on Amazon should learn about. Right. So many chat, Facebook ads and pixel five. What is this? Right. So many chat, is kind of uh, the way I describe it is the customer facing interface that acts as a glue between Facebook ads um, and the pixel, right? Your Facebook ads is going to be the traffic source. All right. And it's going to be the first thing the customers see. And I'll show you guys an example of that in just a second. And then pixel five, the software uh, that I'm a co-founder of helps pixels your users uh, when you're sending traffic from Facebook to Amazon, right? That way we can do the remarketing thing. That way we can train the Facebook pixel. That way we can build those assets. Okay. Um, and what I mean by all of this is we're going to do it by building up our many chat list. Okay. And, um, let me just go over these concepts with you. But when I show you guys a live example, I think it'll make a lot more sense. Um, but basically when you're building this mini chat list, you kind of want to build, my target is always to build it to a thousand subscribers per niche. So say I'm selling a beauty product, I'll, I'll build that list to about a thousand subscribers in the mini chat thing. And that allows me to remarket to those users, uh, launch products on those users, uh, get your product to page one, because you have a list of a thousand subscribers that want to buy like beauty related stuff, right? Um, and the Facebook ads will allow you to basically pay for these thousand subscribers and then scale that list even bigger and bigger over time. And the two main ways that I personally do it, um, there's so many ways you can do it, but the ways I recommend I've found the easiest is to either run a contest, right? Or do a coupon um, in order to get the products, okay? <clears throat> Um, and then, so basically once we're collecting the mini chat, emails, names, address, phone numbers, we're driving them to Amazon. So let's go over a live example, which will make this, what I just talked about, like a lot easier. So for example, this is going to be something you possibly see, uh, when you're scrolling through Facebook, um, uh, you might see an ad that says, Hey, win a free board game, enter for a chance to win, click below to enter our messenger contest, right? Um, and there's, uh, the more you click on these, the more they'll pop up on your Facebook ads. So I purposely, <clears throat> one hack is to, if you guys ever see this or after you guys see this, uh, once you click on this, um, and you keep clicking on it, you will get to see more and more and more examples of this. Right. Um, so I'm going to actually click on this right now. Um, example as if it was a Facebook ad. So my Chrome browser is going to load it right now. 
Um, but basically this would be a Facebook ad that you normally see. And now this is the many chat system like kicking in in the back end, right? So right now, uh, because this is an example, this is how it would start. But normally it could say like, hey, welcome to our contest. I know you wanna win um, our free board game, right? And then there would be something that says click me, right? So this is like the automated function of where many chat really kicks in into your messenger um, and it's pretty cool, right? All right, and then it's very interactive, right? So we talked about collecting data. So one of the first steps is like, hey, you're almost there, Anthony. Just type or click your email below to uh, get finished uh, getting entered, right? One thing you notice is that I wrote a uh, click uh, because on, if we were on your mobile device, your, the customer's email would actually pop up here automatically uh, that's linked to their Facebook account and then you wouldn't have to type it in. But this situation, I'm going to go ahead and type it in for example, right? So as soon as, you know, you type this in, my, uh, the mini chat system would actually collect this uh, data right here for your email and that you can always use that to remark it through like any of your other clients or any of your email marketing software tools. And then um, basically the flow ends, but for example sake, I kind of like, increase like the messages that are really going to come through and I'm just going to let it uh, populate that way you guys can kind of see what's happening. Okay. So after um, a day or two, um, depending on how you want to set up your flow and you guys have this exact template at the end too, during you, you might, a message will pop up and actually be like, Hey, congrats, Anthony. You actually didn't win our giveaway, but you did win the, you know, the runner up prize. And then uh, use this code to get 50% off anything in our Amazon store. Um, and then, so at this point, the customer can, you know, either um, use a coupon code if they want for 50% or, you know, they can kind of do nothing, right? Um, but one thing I do want to kind of show to you guys too is if I were to click on this shop now button, you notice that there's a redirect right now and Pixel 5 pops up. Uh, real fast before switching to the super URL type of link. So the product that we're promoting in this uh, contest was this AirPods case. Um, and what it does is in the keywords, it automatically just launches, um, shows this product along with the keywords AirPod case. Um, and then what that allows you to do, because Pixify redirects them to Amazon, it, it allows you know, if the customer were to buy this item, you would rank for the keywords AirPod case, right? So this is really powerful when you're like trying to target certain keywords to like rank your product on in terms of just Amazon. Um, and it shows your product too. So it just makes it that much easier um, in that detail. Um, but, you know, so say they do use the 50% off coupon, they would use it in that situation right there. But the cool thing about ManyChat is you can set up these flows to be like really dynamic and like interactive. So maybe like after a day delay of like this being set, you could just be like, hey, uh, here at blah, 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 storefront name, we value your experience and the feedback of our customers. And we actually want to reward you guys for this, right? Like, la, 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 I would want you guys to join our VIP club. Um, and at this point, the customer can decide to, you know, interact with this automated mini chat bot, right? So the, at this point, you could have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people just interacting with this automated system that you don't really have to you know, have a hands-on uh, experience with, right? So we'll go ahead and let it kind of run. Okay, so it would just say like join VIP club, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the club, Anthony. As a member of the VIP club, you hear you'll be the first to hear about new product launches and huge discounts, right? So the really cool thing about like inviting people to like a VIP club is we want to get back to the topic of like remarketing re uh, to our existing customers that really love our products, right? So if I were to like launch like a beauty brand um, and I'm launching like, um, I don't know, say something from, uh, say like I have, uh, a lipstick thing and then I want to launch some like acne patches or like whatever beauty related products I could just launch it to the same customer list uh, but just so you guys could kind of know uh, what this flow looks like I could still go through it 
Yeah. And then like, for example, it would just be like another flow of like, Hey, once you enter in your email, here's a discount coupon that you guys can use to like buy our stuff. Right. Um, and then this is kind of like how the different flows kind of work. And if you were to hit shop now, it would take you to like, um, I think I have it set up to where it's like this link, but you could just set it to your storefront name or whatever it is. But the point being is many chat super powerful and they're super like interactive for you to kind of, um, play with. And then, um, so that's a contest example. The other example that I actually want to show you guys too is say once you guys have the list already, you can run another Facebook ad just targeting basically people who already shop from you, right? So it's always cheaper to remarket to customers that have already bought from you or similar customers that have bought from you, right? Then trying to start from cold traffic, right? So this is another example of like a Facebook ad you might see. And if you were to click it, uh, and then there's this flow that we use too. I'm waiting for it to load. There we go. Okay. All right, awesome. So basically this is an example of one of our launches, basically. So as many of you guys know, it's like difficult to launch a product on Amazon, but if you do have a list, you can launch a, um, a way easier, right? So this is like us launching these food safe labels. Uh, these labels are basically uh, labels that you can put on food or on uh, Tupperware and then it just dissolves uh, at, if you put it in water. So it's just like really easy to use. Uh, this is an example product, uh, but it's just like, hey, you know, woke up for like, wanting to buy these labels uh if you're interested in these labels you know just uh click sure i do and as you go through it let's see there we go um and then so this one's a rebate campaign right so this is us giving the, the product away for free um and then possibly later giving the customer a rebate so type below the paypal email so the customer will go ahead and type it in and then they would get instructions on how to purchase the product, right? Um, and if they were to click this, it's also another Pixel 5 link. So um, in this example, um, you can see the Pixel 5. And then during when Pixel 5 goes off, that's when that Facebook Pixel fires off, allowing you to remarket to these users. Um, and then in addition to what, another thing I want you to notice is that it takes you directly to your listing that of your product on Amazon and it includes the keywords that you want to rank for, right? So if you want to rank for desirable food labels, you know, uh, food labels, white desirable food labels, 500 label desirable food labels, you can add that and it allows you to like really rank for those keywords. Um, and then after the flow, it just kind of says like, after you buy your items, it'll allow you to type in your order ID. And then this is how like on your end, you would be able to like kind of confirm like, hey, like this is a, a valid order. I can send these customers a rebate or basically a rebate so they get their money back and they get a free product, right? Um, but yeah, this is how, and then the instructions would just kind of tell the customer, hey, in less than 24 hours, you'll get a rebate back to that PayPal address and that's kind of how it'll flow. So these two flows are two examples of the different things that we have there. We have a lot more templates for you guys actually. Um, and you guys can get all these templates uh, from one of our partners, uh, Michelle Smith. She's actually created a free interactive guide uh, and course like on Pixelfy. So if you go to pixify.me slash mini chat guide, or if you just go to our Pixify website and then you just go to the Academy, um, you'll see uh, Michelle Smith's uh, mini chat course. Um, and I think the advisor is gonna be sharing these slides too. So you guys can either just click on this uh, image or this link and it'll automatically take you there. Um, yeah, and the two templates that you guys saw me run through um, just earlier are actually gonna be in there too. So you guys have full access to those. Um, but the takeaways that I really want you guys to understand is that because, um, you're able to collect these assets by using many chat and Pixify, you're able to really do anything you want with those assets, right? Because you collected the emails, because you collect, you could collect phone numbers, 
you could just retarget those customers, contact those customers, follow up with their experience, make sure they had a positive experience and like maybe they'll leave you like a review, right? We found that through using uh, these different many chat flows, we're able to see a huge, huge, huge increase in the number of positive reviews left on Amazon and you know, am reviews are king on Amazon. Um, but at the end of the day, what I want you guys to understand is that like I did it, you know, um, everyone has to learn this stuff from someone. Right. And like, I didn't learn this, um, you know, from just like myself in a way I learned it from other people. So, um, a couple of resources that I really think that are pretty valuable in the Amazon space that are maybe less talked about or less popular is, uh, one, uh, well, this one's our group. So solid train craft, but Zon tracker is another really good group with this guy named Yev. He has like a PhD and he like knows a lot about Facebook ads and Amazon stuff. Um, and he combines that knowledge and I actually love following his stuff. Um, cause he just like, uh, he teaches me. Right. And like, I'm able to kind of share that knowledge too and execute and test that stuff. Um, and then when it comes to like paid stuff, um, if you guys are interested into, um, more of like a private type of thing or mentoring or like a group, um, MBS is one where it's like, um, only seven figure sellers or more on Amazon are allowed to be a part of this organization. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you guys were to join that one, um, I am not, uh, affiliated with them at all. I'm just a member. Um, and then AMZ messenger chatbots. <clears throat> so if you really like what you saw with like the mini chat stuff and you want the exact, like even more templates and more like hands-on like, uh, help with like the chat bots, Michelle Smith, um, also this is not affiliate link at all. Um, she is really good with teaching that kind of stuff. And like, I even use her flows, um, in some of my, um, launches and then retargeting and contest building and all that stuff. So I highly recommend all of those. Um, but yeah, that's to uh, kind of sum it up. I actually want to hand it over to Nally now so she can kind of share a little bit on her end about this. Um, so do you want me to just give you remote control right now, Nally? Yes, please. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Um, and just to add to the background information from Anthony, you can get more information on Amazon remarketing strategies in our 2020 Amazon Advertising Playbook. The web book includes an overview of every Amazon ad type and 2019 updates, key advertising metrics to track, a breakdown of ad targeting capabilities, and much, much more. It's very comprehensive. And now we'd like to dig into some questions as part of the Q&A. Um, but first, we have a couple of poll questions that you should see on your screens now. As always, if you'd like to learn more about any of the ongoing initiatives we have here at Feedvisor, please connect with us. And so we'll leave that on your screens as we get into some of the Q&As. Our first question here. So this looks like back on your demo, Anthony, what chat was that? Was that Facebook chat, many chat? Can you offer a more in-depth explanation of what many chat is? Yeah, so I can totally do that. Um, and one of the things is, um, I would actually just share my screen again. So this is Messenger, right? So um, everybody, uh, not everybody, but I would say a majority of people um, nowadays have a Facebook account. So this is just me inside of like my messenger of like me talking to my friends, right? And what the most powerful thing is about ManyChat is ManyChat is a website that it's like another standalone tool. Um, it, this is actually going to show my dashboard. Um, but basically, it'll, it's just, it's this automated function that you see right here, right? Um, all these messages that are popping up interactively with these buns, um, collecting this data for you, such as my email, the order ID, all of that is being done through ManyChat. Um, so ManyChat is just kind of like this third party tool that helps you send marketing messages with inside your Facebook Messenger. Um, I hope that helps. Does that make sense? 
Well, a follow-up question to that is, can you further explain where and how the retargeting occurs on Amazon or somewhere else? Where do you set up the retargeting? Yeah, that's a good question. So the retargeting in this case uh, is basically, so as soon as someone goes through um, this messenger area right here, as soon as someone clicks, uh, when someone enters their flow, there's usually a get started button or the click me button that I was talking about earlier. Um, as soon as someone clicks on anything interactive with this, you acquire the user, right? So within ManyChat, you're allowed to send these people messages basically forever, right? And if you collect the emails inside of here, you're basically allowed to send them messages forever. Um, and then the other really cool thing is within, uh, because you're using uh, pixel file links, if you use pixel file links right here, the front facing ad that we saw where I was showing you guys earlier, where um, I'll kind of go back to it so it makes sense. So these ads, basically like these ads, I can retarget anyone that's seen my ad before, clicked on my ad before, you know, entered into my messenger bot before. And that's what makes it so powerful. Um, so like there is, um, when you kind of get into it, there's just like a wide range of like retargeting options. Um, and that's what makes it so powerful, right? You can retarget through email, you can retarget them through Facebook ads, you can resend them a message through um, basically uh, their uh, mini chat thing. If you collect their address, you can literally send them like postcards, um, snail mail is like what people call it. Um, I haven't tested that personally. Um, I just stick with the digital stuff. That's uh, So that's what's working for me. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question. Can you further explain what exactly Pixelfy does? Yeah, that's a good question. So Pixelfy, um, I didn't highlight it too much here because I did, definitely didn't want to make it seem like an ad. Uh, but Pixelfy, uh, one of the things um, I can, the best way to kind of show it again is visually. Um, so in this flow, right, we're sending customers from Facebook to Amazon the most annoying part about selling on Amazon is Amazon doesn't give you um, a chance to pixel your customers, right? So when someone clicks on this link, uh, what you're gonna see real quick right here is a actually a Pixelfy link right here. So this link, as you can tell, is a Pixelfy link, um, but it redirects to the Amazon page. While it's redirecting to the Amazon page, I'm going to do it again right now. You'll notice that there's this redirecting right here. As soon as that happens, there's a Facebook pixel firing off that um, allows you to collect and build your Facebook uh, pixel data, right? And with more data, there's more possibilities that can, you can do. And then the second thing too is that um, it redirects into what we call a super URL. Um, so say uh, in this example, my product is um, these AirPod cases. And when you're launching products on Amazon, you want to target different keywords, right? So for this one, um, I wanted to target AirPod case, right? So uh, AirPod case in general is a very competitive keyword. Um, but uh, say it was just like, <clears throat> say you wanted to rank for AirPod case, then that is like the keyword you would put inside of Pixel Find Me. Um, and then it redirects here. So every time a customer buys through clicking this link right now, it'll send a signal to Amazon actually and tell Amazon that, hey, this customer bought uh, this product based off the keyword AirPod case. So that means we should move them up the page um, on Amazon to uh, show to customers more, right? Because one of the most important things about selling on Amazon is kind of similar to Google. The best way uh, for me to kind of say is like, on Google, do you ever go to page 10 of Google to buy something? Probably not. Um, and then the same thing with Amazon, right? Like how often do you go to like page 24, or page three, or page five to buy something on Amazon? It's the same thing. So we help users rank for their desired keywords, um, basically. Um, and ideally we help you get to the first page of like whatever product that you're, you know, trying to rank for and what keyword you're trying to rank for. Um, I hope that makes a little bit more sense. 
Yes, I think so. And with that, we have one more quick poll that we want to launch on your screens now. And we're going to continue with the Q&A while that's up. So Anthony, another question for you. Where do you set up all of the retar retargeting that is taking place? Okay. Under, like how, where, and do you set this all up? Yeah, so most of the retargeting that I like to stick with is uh, in two areas. One is the mini chat uh, area, and then <clears throat> two is the email marketing. Um, because you're collecting all these emails, um, you can easily use a software such as like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, which are like email marketing um, software clients. Um, and then you can just send automated drip feed emails for their, the rest of their lives, uh, which is what we do. And then the second way is, like I said, through ManyChat, right? So with it, one, as soon as they go inside of your ManyChat flow, then you're allowed to basically send certain type of promotional and value added messages over the course of your lifetime. Um, so say, you know, like you were selling a beauty brand, you can send them like articles or value added stuff or kind of just touch in with them like, hey, what's your experience with like our product now that you've had it for, you know, 30 days? Are you happy with it? Um, and that, that's how you can use that to either, either remarket for other future products or you can use that for actually, like we actually use it a lot for uh, deciding what our next products are, right? Or deciding what a color of a packaging should be. We just use it for like A-B testing. Well, sometimes we'll contact customers and just be like, hey, between these two packages, which ones do you guys like better? And then we'll automatically get a poll. Um, and that will actually lead our designers to be designing like friendlier products uh, for our customers and whatnot. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, one more question. Does Pixel 5 violate Amazon's terms of service by modifying the URL? Yeah, this is a great question. So as of right now, um, <clears throat> there is no one that has been uh, banned from Amazon for using a super URL. The concept of a super URL has been around for over, actually since the first day that I started selling on Amazon, um, maybe three, four years ago is when I heard about the concept of super URLs. Um, and to this date, um, it's not something that is banned uh, from what I understand. It is, um, in my opinion, I consider it a gray area. Um, but to this date, uh, you know, if people were getting banned, I wouldn't have a business around Pixelfy um, and we wouldn't be running it and we wouldn't encourage people to use it and we wouldn't use it ourselves if it was something that was going to get you um, banned from Amazon or against terms of service. Um, one thing you can do is you can, I would recommend that you just go to the forums, go within the Facebook groups, search, you know, super URLs, TOS, right? Um, and those keywords, and you will find a lot of discussion around this area um, as uh, in a way on the online groups, it's kind of been beaten to death. But I can gladly say, and I'm comfortable enough to say that you will be fine using these types of URLs. Great question, though. All right. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Anthony, for joining us. We really appreciate your time today. All right. Thank you, Natalie, for having me on. I really appreciate um, you know the time that you guys uh, put together in organizing this and whatnot. Thank you. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. And thank you to everyone listening in. Uh, we hope that you left today feeling equipped to implement and optimize your own Amazon remarketing strategy.